Oopsie daisy, I forgot the Discord open. What is up, everybody? <laughs> it's ADV95, and I'm joined by Nicholas and Revan in the commentary booth. Hello. Hello, hello. It is time! We are now uh, ready to discover the new champion of Hogs of War Grunt League 2023. Summer. No, not summer. Uh, winter season. I'm already messing it up. So we have Uk the Ukraine and UK who have won the previous two Grunt League season. 2021 with Jay Warren for the UK. Uh, Revan here in the chat with us uh, for Ukraine in 2022. So that means that Agar and KB who are ready to throw down have bo both have the chance to make it two for their own country. Actually, now that I think of it, we can also repeat Austrian's record for two consecutive tournaments in a row. Like, Castor did two leagues in a row, and now Ukraine can do two Grand League in a row. Which I, think is you're, awesome. I think you're overthinking it a little bit, but yes, I guess uh, that's right. So, uh, today, uh, as we stated before, is going to be a best of five. It is the first ever best of five in Grand League history. Uh, it has some slightly different rules when it comes to ranks, but uh, let's just dive into it, shall we? We are gonna start with Cold Front, then we're gonna go to Upstream, Railroad, and if we need a uh, Game 4, uh, Over the Top, and if we need a Game 5, P-Drag. So, uh, Niklas, you can start yeah. the game, because you have control over the menu here. Yes. We can One see... thing about the lineups is they're very weird, like, um, very different for the first map. Um, we, we saw a Grenadier for Agra. Um, KB is not choosing to pick a Grenadier or a Medic for the first map, but going with two Gunners and two Paras. And yeah, meanwhile, I mean, while Agra has the double scout, I, I think this it's mostly because of a, a weird set that is this best of five, but also Cold Front is, Cold Front is a weird map itself. I was training with Zagar and he explained me his lineup. So he got a uh, scout first and fourth. And when you are spawning this medic, you don't know which scout you want to tranquilize. So you can do a mistake, tranquilize like uh, scout four, and uh, you will get that uh, free movement for three turns. Or you can go for Grenadier, and then you got two scouts available, and they can deal damage to enemy medic. But this plan is not working, since KB got... Because KB is, yeah. doesn't have a medic in first. Kinda genius. So, let's see how it will roll without that plan. Here's the thing, the fact that we're playing a best of five, that doesn't mean that we have more pigs in, in the pool, of course. But it also has a, a very peculiar limitation. We, uh, you can only play Medic and Grenadier together in one match, and in, in one map, and that means that you are forced to have one map where you use neither of them. Yeah, exactly. And it's kind of beautiful, because Hawks of War, uh, it kind of become a game of Medics and Grenadiers. So now we see a lot of Gunners, we see, uh, I don't know, Paratroopers. It, it's kind of beautiful. Lots of new weapons, new tactics. Big I still, is, haven't, uh, I still game haven't changing. figured out this map, to be honest. It's very weird. Um, yeah, kinda. Like, the good thing about this map is med medical darts and, I believe, self-heal, which you can achieve by, like, jumping over textures. That is true. I do like pickups where that gives you uh, healing weapons. That's something that we never had so before in competitive. Also, yeah, we, also we, I forgot to mention, sorry, Revan. Uh, I forgot to mention that since they both normally play blue, uh, Agar is playing yellow tonight. Yeah, for Ukrainian players it's like easy. We are just switch switching to yellow and we got our flag, so it's a win-win situation. Yep. It is interesting because these two already played each other in group stage. It was a completely different game, it was a best of three, it was a 45 seconds, uh, and that time it was um, KB to switch to red. Oh yeah, that is true. Oh, this guy trapped? Oh no, no wait. No way, right? I don't know, he can The left one looks like it's walkable. It, it is walkable on other maps, like... Wow, oh, if he's... Yeah. This left, right to the left, just give it a... It, oh, oh no! Oh my... Is it oh, prepared? no! Awesome. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it does look like there's a skip there. Uh, this must be the area where, uh, since this is basically beta, beta mission 24, this should be the area where the 200 crate is. And that was a beautifully thrown. Yeah, great throw. Good damage. 
Cluster Grenade, which does, I think, close to 100 damage. Yeah, it must be around that. Yeah, already the game is pretty much interesting. Like, I've never seen that kind of trapping uh, of Grenadier, so... I don't know, is it, like, prepared <laughs> or something like that? Could I don't be, know. could be. You, you saw the bazooka who got him there was pretty precise for that yeah. shot, so maybe KB actually prepared that shot for himself. Oh, let's see, cheesy, cheesy weapon. Ooh, but it's a 50. I think it's still good turn, like, no need to be on bad morale side with that, because, like, you still got it. I don't still know, 50. because... Shrapnels at Grunt League level are kind of an, a very intimidatory weapon. You know? I would say on any level. True, but, you know, the fact that you can hit a, a, a 50 or more in Grunt League does mean you are always, you're never to be trusted. Well, kind of, but... Uh, and it's, it's think, ironic uh, since, you know, in, in the other game... Agar basically won by a perfect shot. Yeah, shrapnel. yeah. <laughs> that is true. Shrapnels are kind of, like, overhyped, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure how... Like, well. how they will be used in the next league, on the, for example, rank up or something. So, I think they are just progressing. Maybe 50 shrapnel is uh, soon to be okay damage and such. I guess so. I mean, 50 shrapnel is already... Subpar in Hawks War League. Like, it's uh, huge damage. The sniper rifle is just 40. Like, you are still doing more than uh, needed and such. I mean, I mean, if you ask, for example, Angurio or Axpy, that was a beautiful mortar, by the way, by uh, KB. And yep, I'm, yep. I'm gonna have trouble remembering who's who with the colors tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm not paying attention for that. <laughs> Especially because this map is so damn goddamn confusing. Yeah, so far all the shots have been good. Um, I kind of missed an opportunity there to like set up some head jumps for a potential skip in the future. That para will be not the next pick of KB, but the pick Maybe after him. Maybe he's trying him. to go for him now? No, okay, no. Yeah, I think nah. this Gunner turn is beautiful. Like, he's um, positioning himself so close to uh, that uh, self-heal crate. Uh, he'll need quite a lot of time to figure out the tiles, uh, where to jump and such. But that crate on the left can change the game at some point, so it's good to be near that crate and try to get him. And we can see one of the tactics that uh, players that are not super confident with gunners use, which is to set up a, a distance of a close range shot and just go with that all the time. KB isn't that kind of guy. He, we've seen him hit some absolutely crazy shots with mortars. Let's see, let's see. He need to prove himself after your words right now. Uh, seems... Yeah, like that seems good. Mm -hmm. Seems like he's Let's trying to hit both the yellow pigs, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Might, might be straight down the middle. And it wow. kind of Keep is. Up. Okay, Don't, not great damage, but... My damage of 44, so pretty good. Yeah, it's good, it's good. 24 on one, 20 on the other. That is a tough turn because, yeah. as we know, the limit of uh, 30 seconds is basically five head jumps. If you do it correctly, he looks like he's gonna have trouble doing it. Yeah, that's like why I mentioned the, the turn with this gunner. He could have just done two head jumps and did three here, and yeah. that would have been a very good skip turn, but now he's kinda. Needs is to that paratrooper next? Yes, he will be next. That's why it's yeah. That's probably a, a, probably a problem for for a KB uh, for for Agar, I mean, he could either like suicide him as you would normally do in in these situations, or just do that because yeah. th this is why healing weapons are such a new thing. We never had this kind of situation. It's not like poison was uh, already. A not complicated meta to to follow, but now it's even more complicated when when pigs can pick up uh, healing weapons. And I really like medicine dart because uh, you may think that it kind of nerves the scout, but imagine scout body blocking and healing himself—it's like a true nightmare to play against. So it's <laughs> yeah. kind of good balance. Yeah, that mm. uh, that is a late game uh, tactic for sure. I don't know. Let's see, like. I feel like both of these guys have not 
caught on to the insta kill zone on this map. We had it happen in one Which of the other Which is a good thing map. if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. It is right behind that building because the map border kind of cuts into that big building on the... Yeah, I remember that, that one. It's from uh, 50 Meth versus Raven Crown, if I remember correctly. Oh my yeah. god. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, kind of bit of a messy hitbox there from the ground. Yeah, but you should never aim a shoot um, a rifle shot like that. There's There has to be nothing in the middle. Yeah. Bit of a... To be honest, so far I... I see that Kibi kind of got it, like he's controlling the map. A little bit. I mean, Agar is. Mm, I think Agar is being more efficient damage-wise, but Kibi is controlling it a little bit more in terms of, of tactic. I mean, after those scouts will be dealt with, mm, it it will be hard for uh, Agar to play this game. Like, yeah, scout is dead and. That kind of his strategy for that map. And although, this guy is although, next and he has no target. Like, try to get out. Try. <laughs> I think the gunner should be just at, just in reach for the cluster. We'll Look. see. But why not try the shortcut? Y yeah, just try <laughs> to find it. I think he might just save it for later. That was actually no. a decent hit. I think that uh, Something was, like 60. Uh, around 50, 55 to 60, I would guess. Yeah. And yeah, like you were saying, oh my god, the bar looks very blue. I didn't notice there was that such a huge yeah. difference in, yeah. in health. KB at first turn basically did no mistake so far. Like he straight up did at least 40 damage every turn. So so let's see a couple of him. stats about these two. We have uh, okay. KB who has uh, five wins and one loss so far. It was against Agar in the group stage. But uh, and he only has lost one map besides the mass, m the match with Agar, with a total of yeah, one, it's eleven. Yeah, dominant performance. Yeah, very good, very good. Uh, eleven maps won, three lost. Meanwhile, Agar doesn't have any defeat. He's won all six of his matches so far, uh, but does have one uh, one more map lost than KB. He's got uh, two, twelve wins and four losses. And their group was very strong, like, we got two finalists from Group C, and also LeFront and Dimension, who were, like, very strong opponents for them. Yeah, I was very surprised at LeFront getting eliminated before the playoffs, to be honest, because, uh, you know, he's a former uh, league player, and... He, he... And now he is former Grand Prix player. <laughs> I guess Ooh. so. Oh, no. Just the game bullying Agar at this point. Yeah, close, very close on hitting that roof of that building. Would have no, been I enough. mean, uh, he, it's kind of, you know, uh, deserved, because this is like harsh shot. You either do straight shot or like not do any shot when Pika is standing on the top of the building. Like, mm -hmm. I always say ag to Agar and to anybody who I'm playing against in training, like, use uh, simple decisions. And that was... Not simple one, and also you're playing with pink. You should acknowledge that uh, every like millisecond you are pressing more power, it's gonna influence. Yes, so. again a good shot by KB, and yeah. you can kind of he kind of missed the opportunity again to like get away from that grenadier. It's still in a bit of range there to hit him with a, maybe sixty mm. this time for maybe a safer hit. Maybe he's trying to bait a hard cluster so that Agar makes a mistake again, I guess. That could, could be, a be thing. true. But yeah, the fact that the pig pool in best of five has four mandatory gunners is definitely an advantage for KB when it comes to, you know, gameplay style. Let's see. Yeah, and that's um like oh, oh my god yeah. again <laughs> Beautiful oh. position. No, well that's done, just KB. unlucky at this point. Um. Yeah, I think the most important um topic right now is for Agar just trying to recollect himself for game two because the best of five is very long it's, it's still uh, not done you just lost one game you would be able to of course come back even in a best of three but even more in a best of five of course yeah that, like he's just playing 4v5 at that point like he kind of doing good damage but uh, it's mentally it's mentally difficult to deal with that. Okay, Ooh, beautiful. Good damage. Kinda repeats the, the same shot as before with a bit more damage. That might yeah, be enough I'm kinda kill. surprised okay. that uh, KB uh, is not moving his peaks um, away from that uh, grenadier. 
Hmm. Again, like the only thing I, I mean, besides the fact that he maybe have forgot may have forgotten about that grenadier, the only thing that would explain it is again trying to like make the shot harder for him. And look at this! Wow. Yeah, just a reminder to not slip on this map. You could lose like ten seconds, like a third of your turn. But I think this is kind of the reason Agar was not picking medic. He was afraid of you know doing tranquilizer, and your um, enemy's medic is just sliding away from you. Oh yeah, neither of them used a, a, a medic so far. That is probably the reason. Maybe, maybe so. Or maybe like we got railroad, p drag, like so many maps where medic is super efficient. You oh can yeah, I get uh, to yeah any I, location of the map. I think it would be devastating for them if we went to a, a game five, but I definitely want to see a game five p drag. First, I feel like p drag needs some improvement because uh, player one can basically gain. Uh, crate 50, crate 10, tank without any problems, but well, we'll see. Well, the thing is, uh, P-Drag is a cheat engine product, so it's extremely hard to modify. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe some hero can modify, who knows? <laughs> well, not a hero in Hogs, but look at that grouping up from uh, Agar. Unfortunately useless, because KB gets to move away. Oof. And yeah, I don't know uh, about Agar's chances. M maybe it will be hard for KB to deal with that Grenadier, like, who is trapped. I don't know. Well, he's out of clusters now. So, yeah. It is still, well, still? It still has a potential of 60 damage per turn. But right now, his only target has 12 health. So, might as well do it with a... Uh, a, rocket, a grenade launcher, you know? Wow, Gunner is so good on this map, like, yeah. even if you're doing, like, 38, like, no, not that much, he's sliding back. I don't think it's the Gunner back. that's so good, it's KB that's <laughs> absolutely rocking shit. Oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah, KB has not missed a shot of these mortars yet. Like, even if you, if you, even if you do, like, a 20 or just miss a complete shot, he would be fine, but... And as he said, like, no hangover. Imagine, yeah. <laughs> what he can do with hangover. What, what if, what, like... Proper vitamins and final form, KB, maybe? Oh Someday. my. KB squared. Like, <laughs> top evolution form from KB. He definitely seems to be in main league form right now. Okay, this is beautiful. Like, those mortars are just pleasant to see. Like, both players, I don't care. You, you can even shoot to your own guys. Like, if, if you do 50, <laughs> I, will be, <laughs> I will be enjoying that. I understand that feeling and I kind of agree. Let's see, 33, that's enough to kill him, so that means that Agar is down to two pigs. And I don't think that gunner is on very good health. Although, Come yeah, on, dude. just gonna... Please give it a try. <laughs> oh god. You I... can do it! Are you 100% sure that there's a skip there? No, I want to see it, I've never oh, okay. <laughs> played this map like this far, so... <laughs> like, he can still spend half of his turn at least trying. Like. No shame in Okay. That. that somehow worked. <laughs> uh, skill. Yep. Yeah, we are playing the... Well, we're not playing the oh, USA, the, the American version of the game. We're playing a modified version of the, of the American version, which is supremely slower than the other one, and also has the, uh, you know, other effect, the, the collaborative effect of... Like, like shots lasting way more before the game's decide. Okay, that's too that's too long. You need to explode. Okay, Mr. Nerd. Okay, noted. Okay. So, healing is there. Healing is there. So no poison for that guy. Although kind of close to that barrel. I don't know how much this guy is on. I think a four u one would be definitely too much for Agar to handle. Okay, self heal. This is the time. Yeah, it looks like he's searching for some yeah, kind of victory weapon by now. Let's go. Uh, nice. Okay. I don't think Another he has one? time. Oh no, he has seven seconds. For some reason. Hello, my... Pin. Hello. <laughs> for nice. some reason, my brain was like, "There's four seconds." No, there's seven. And yeah, kind of baiting him to come closer to the grenadier as well with this move. Which is unless... good. I think yeah, unless his just... win condition, his win condition is kind of that. Just. Hoping for a positioning mistake that leads to maybe two grouping up and then a double 60 would do insane amount of damage. 
And by the way, I have not uh, addressed the chat at all. I see uh, a lot of people interacting with it. Uh, hello to Fab, to Fox, to Machetino, to Not Good Mike Chris, Max. to Mike hello, Max, hello. just joined right now. That was a beautiful. So he'll deny it. Yeah, basically. And still kept his distance from the grenade as well. Okay, just try. <laughs> like, <laughs> go to the side. <laughs> this is like a caster moment where everyone is just uh, screaming. The commentator is screaming at the at the player to do something over multiple turns, and the player is not doing it. Ah, uh, you embarrassing country. <laughs> So yep, another so, gonna turn. <clears throat> okay, I, see a, I see a couple people saying uh, that they're late. You're not, because this is only game one of potentially five uh, different maps. So we're gonna be here a bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let's um, think for a while, see, uh, like while they're finishing the map. Um, who is an advantage in terms of uh, pick pool? Who wasted like the most terrible class or something like that? Like I would need to read the lineups that say to to yep. tell you that. Yeah. I know for sure that uh, Agar is playing with less scouts, oh my God, which is just kind of disadvantage. Just uh, think about these shots and how mentally draining they are for Agar. Like he KB is showing that he can hit you from anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And but what about pistol trick shot? Huh? Ah. Uh, uh, that is only a trick for Bobby to do in a competitive match. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah, but this is like the big, big, the biggest skill gap you can basically get in Hawks is positioning yourself like differently, awkwardly for the enemy to hit you, and True. then doing a long shot, perfect head on, to deal the most True. amount of damage. And uh, the thing is, with four mandatory gunners in best of fives, you kind of need to be at least decent at gunners. Yeah, it, either you choose maps where they kind of don't excel with that. But you can do close range mortars, so you deal like around 40 to 50 damage. And I see the chat is appreciating KB's mortar, uh, mortar and bazooka prowess as well. I oh, say that, that, that was. <laughs> <laughs> I swear if he did that on purpose. <laughs> okay, a raid boss right now. Please. Please just. Yes? Yes? Oh no, never mind. Okay, it's, it's not. It's not climbable. Uh, you cannot do uh, that. Uh, you cannot do that. I think he knows it. Because you know, wall climb is banned in competitive. Uh, oh. Okay, he cannot do it. Yeah, that would maybe break. sixty grenade is okay. Why not? I think he can, I think it can reach. Although the guy is on twelve, so mm. yeah, this is basically like just the timer. It, Oven glove this... crypto? Is it you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Don't remind me that one. Yeah, I don't Wait. think it will go that far. Ah, KB will probably just rush in and. Is the grenadier still on full health though? Yeah. Or he's gonna no, drag no, it out okay. with some he got long one range shots. I actually understand KB's point. I mean, I mean, he can hit from a distance. All of his pigs are kind of low on health. I think getting close would be a, a little bit of a risk. I mean, you. Never I mean, mind. look at this. Okay. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, oh. if you're that good with the shots, you don't. Wait, mind. do you see that s snowman <laughs> on the ground? Ah, there he is. Yeah, that's the same thing that's on the the oh, hello. actual mission. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh, that is actually the best turn for viewers, for players, for, for everybody. Yeah, you know what? So. I always say that uh, you should not do that and the enemy should do the last hit to you. Yeah. But considering... This is the situation. Exactly. Yeah. Considering how the game went, uh, like we said, KB was absolutely destroying Agar on long distance. And it's just... You're getting beaten like a punching ball every every yeah, turn. So like, like the problem is doing over. that while the game is like still going, but the game was finished like five, ten turns ago. So this yeah, is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so let me update the score before I forget. And okay. that is KB taking game one on cold front. And uh, we're gonna take a small break and then we're gonna go to upstream. And we are back. Nicholas, you should... Okay, focus the uh, yes. window again. Uh, we were going to be joined by Metal Man for this commentary of Game 2, but uh, unfortunately he had trouble with Parsec, so we're hopefully having him in, in the next one. So we're going to upstream, 
and uh, Agar is going first for this round, and that is very important because we have the couple for the yellow team, and also Upstream is one of those maps where gaining control of the early game is super important. But who knows? Yes. KB <laughs> has has given us some crazy upsets. Above all, uh, the one on Well 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 with versus Mephisto, which is what was that? And in comes Mr. Evan with the steel chair. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Welcome back, Revan. Thank you, thank you. I was, I was very afraid. I was like, uh, maybe some controller has uh, disconnected or something. Maybe some random dude coming in asking about Lardcore or something like that. <laughs> uh, you, you, can, you, can you imagine just some random dude hacking the chat, the voice chat and coming in like, what, what are you doing here? Okay, this uh, could be an easy MoMA here. Let's see. Oh, Medic's on top, though. Yep. Yeah, strange so. position. Never seen it. Like. Yeah. Make sure you do the Revan shot so you don't slip off. Yeah. I don't know about that. I mean, this is a non-slippery map, so it's kind of hard to make him slip down. That direction, probably not that hard. No, yeah, I mean, looks good. Uh, like, any jetpack will separate them kind of easily, and poison is more or less easy. Like, yeah. let's see. You can do an easy I double, I guess. I haven't seen the... Oh, oh my, wait. look at that. What a terrible spawn point. Yeah, is oh, it right. the um, Anyone poison? Anyone is here. Ira should be next to the couple of... Uh, the MoMA as well, so... KB will have, would have an easy time breaking this up. KB does have a scout, though. Is it possible that we didn't see him and he's, he's on the other island as well? Maybe, but I'm not sure about that. So far, from what I've seen, everyone should be on that one island. Maybe the scouts are there. Oh, as well. no. oh no! Tough decision okay. for Agar here. He wanted to save the jetpacks and go for a poison, which I feel like it was a good idea, but he didn't manage to shoot it in time, so he wasted his turn. And now KB has a huge chance here. Yeah. B lines it to the MoMA. Kind of misses four seconds due to not knowing the shortcut, but that's fine. Oh, and oh look this? At the, look at, I'm not mad. Look at the. Yeah, this is pits. terrible. Oh, but he goes for just a simple break. He like, why not? Uh, this game is so good for KB. I'm impressed, actually. Oh Agra my god! That is a pro move right there! This is. Uh, actually, this is a champion move. Yep, yeah. that is uh, an absolutely champion move. We saw him just pick the bazooka up in time because the bazooka sh has to be picked before the two seconds hit. Otherwise, he won't be able to shoot. He picks it up in time, start charging, turn around, aims it up, and hits a perfect 40. That was gangsta. And you see, uh, like, kinda his medic in danger, Kibis, I mean. But uh, so much of Agar's peak right there. It's so easy to, like, bunch them up and do uh, lots of damage. It's just crazy. I mean, don't get uh, me wrong. Uh, still, uh. Agar has the couple, has the Medic and Grenadier combo. Yep. And, ooh, that's 16. I mean, one head jump will fix that. Yep. By the way, you can see the KB scout. It's right in the corner of the campaign spawn. Ah, who cares? Yeah, so... Uh, Agar didn't see him. Because I would definitely... Actually, would definitely... imagine, he could have dropped all the jetpacks, like, uh, how much is that, 60 plus poison, and skipped uh, that scout turn. Nobody could have helped him. I so, guess so, because he's so maybe. down in the lineup that you would be right. Oh, he's going for a shrapnel. That's pretty risky at that stage. Mm, not very game. optimal. Yeah, not needed. Like, uh, perfect is TNT and bunch them up and do double damage. Like, this is not needed. Yeah, due to the misturn of the uh, poison and... Uh... However, I would like to bring the 80 t theory, which is, if you're trying okay. to hit an enemy with 80 health, and you have uh -huh. a sapper, if you use a TNT, you still need two, two moves to kill him. If you use a shrapnel, you might just need one. If yeah, you, I if completely you hit agree with you. If you hit a 30, you still have him in range for another hit kill. This is like the best way to like look at the game. Not how much damage you need, but how much turns you need. Oh my god, they're grouping up though. Yeah. Agar is uh, coming back slightly. Yep. Yeah, he, he kind of has the upper hand still due to better lineup, lineup yeah. or stronger lineup and getting first turn. 
Yeah, so far it's it's a it's a very beefy final, as we expected from these two. Ooh, yeah, we need to go from the other maps. side. Okay, cool. KB paying good attention, getting that guy down to 15. Otherwise, we would have had a skip turn on our hands next. Most likely. Yeah. Yeah, they understanding the concept of the game. They understanding like winning conditions and such. So it's skillful uh, in uh, strategy and in uh, performance. Beautiful best of five. Yeah. However, it does seem like how much is the medic, Agar's medic on 52? It doesn't seem like. Um, KB's really focusing any one of those, but just doing good amount of damage to I both. I think he was trying to bunch up the Grenadier and Medic, which would be an ultimate bunching up. Yeah, it kind of sets up a double poison for the uh, scout of KB in the future. But, um, I don't know, maybe getting Actually, rid of that Medic. Could, oh, been... it could be a triple here, first of all. And second of all, it's not the best oh pick to deal with, uh, with a group like this. Ah, uh, no, poison... Uh, Okay, this is yeah. a, this is probably a mistake. No, I think it's good because you need to secure that medic is dead. And uh, true, I can agree on not capitalizing on that uh, two picks uh, standing close. But you could have still killed him the next turn. I don't know if that was. I mean, oh, you, he you, can you, still yeah. do it. But you would have needed to do that with a medic, so you kind of waste the trank there. So right now, Agar is controlling the game. I see. Like he will heal Grenadier. Oh, doesn't he have another tranquilize. scout? Oh no, he doesn't. Okay, th then no, you're no. then you're right. Then you're right. He was it the was, lineup uh, is the basically mirrored, uh, unless uh, um, but there's one grenadier. It's this it's, it's, it's the, instead of a sapper. Yeah, even the double poison will change yeah. nothing. Yep. Yeah, and uh, double poison is not needed. Right. Just oh, that to, looks good though. It will bounce off the medic. Just to clarify something I see on the chat by Matteo Casavecchia, which I think is 50 meth. I'm not sure. Uh, they are both bl normally blue, but Agar is uh, using yellow just to, you know, we can't play blue versus blue. We could indicate the gra in the graphics somehow. Yes, we could, but that would require me doing some more work, which I don't want to. Nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, is the, the right guy, yeah, and he basically won this game. Mm. Yeah, do not care about medic, just do it tranquilize. Yeah, yeah. You, you can even heal your medic with one of the healing items that is... Oh, but he falls oh. down. Okay, that's a, a, still a chance for... Um, yeah. For KB. Yeah, for KB. And also, remember, the Grenadier is not second in Agar's lineup, like it normally uh -huh. would be. So KB still has a chance to kill it before he has, it has a move. Yeah, KB is kind of in danger. Like, uh, I see two groups of KB picks that can be brought together, like those two and uh, Paratrooper and that guy on the top. Yeah, another thing wow. that I another thing that I really see happen a lot of times is that you kind of lose control of what you're doing in terms of position, and all of a sudden you find yourself with every every single pick close together to each other. Yeah, it can happen. Okay. That was um, a big oh, shot. And he does more damage to himself than to the enemy, I think, with that one. Yep, 25-22, although with the jetpack it was more damage on the blue team anyway. Yeah, the question is who will um, use uh, grouping up better? Like, uh, with engineers it's uh, so yeah, much Yeah, look at easier. this mess here. Uh, I think he has to go for a shrapnel. Good idea, good idea. Otherwise, you want you don't wanna you don't wanna have that guy have a turn. I would risk the shrapnel. He's trying to put the TNT <laughs> down so he doesn't hit his own pigs as well, since it wouldn't kill him anyway. And I think he was also trying to hit the medic, but that didn't work. Wow. Oh. Oh. Uh, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of good because that scout is protected from the cluster, but I think he Agar can do other targets. Yeah, just do high damage with your Grenadier now, and you're pretty much sealing the game even further. The problem for both players, they are completely ignoring um, healing hands and medicine darts. Yeah, like, I think... Healing hands are not that far. I think Agar's planning to do that one with uh, his scout, because he's closest to the healing hand, so he'll have enough time to get it, Wait, collect it, and... Nice, nice. He's uh, sacrificing medic. But he could have healed the medic, though, right? With the no, scouts. I, I'm not sure. Like maybe, maybe he's being sure, and that is also extra damage. That is beautiful. Yeah, yeah maybe like, it's um, just hidden hands sure. lying on that uh, crate uh, on the island. So 
it will take so much time to get there and to get back to the medic, like which is behind the hill. So killing medic maybe is a good idea. Yeah, it's it's a safer idea in that uh, that perspective. Oops, sorry about that. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, I had a a stutter moment and I panicked, so I was trying to close Ooh, wait. something. Zo those uh, grenades are so easy, in my opinion. Nah, and nice. You, 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 just, you just jinxed it. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm biased. <laughs> yeah, but good on KB for trying it, because he needs, like, some shrapnel extra damage to get his foot back in the door here. To be fair, that looked pretty good. Yeah. Nice one. So, good job from Agreno, making sure that your enemy is not picking up those healing hands. Yeah, and I would leave them until poison is used on your picks. Yes. Yeah, I think the... He was right to kill his own medic because yeah, oh you, you saw him come here to pick up. Um, the yeah. thing that I don't like is so much self damage. Yeah, but it's doing s safe damage on on the enemy, so I don't know. No, he, he just did <laughs> on his scout. I know, that's what I'm saying. He's also doing okay. the damage he needs to do. So yeah, poison no. is kind of useless right now. Well, he can poison that uh, engineer with hidden hands. Okay, KB is kind of dismoraled, maybe? No, it's fine. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. The engineer the, the engineer with the healing hands is still on full health, so there's absolutely no way that the scout can miss his turn. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's such a weird thing seeing other picks with healing hands for, like, the first times. Yeah, but that it is... was, like, turned before, so... Yeah, still. I know, but still, it's a fair point. We are not used to these kind of things, because we never had healing pickups in any competitive game before. Oh, beautiful. That's good. And that is a yes. double hit, which pretty much seals the game, if you ask me. Yeah. Oh, no, he's, on, he's not on full health. I guess he, he would be killable. Another problem with that scout, like, usually you you are trying not to kill poison pigs, so it's, like, confirmed that this guy will get his hidden hands. But okay, if so can I am... Here. I was just reading uh, chat and there was a kind of <laughs> off-topic message which I, which I don't understand, I'm sorry about that. Shots are on point, you have to say. Yep. Is it somebody promoting his game? No. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... We're basically sailing towards game 3 on 1-1 on one on one, one pace. And look at that! It's uh, predetermined health crates. All 20s, no random 50. What a beautiful <laughs> sight to see. <laughs> Imagine 50 crate here. That would be yeah. insane, right? Madness. Yeah, dude, when, when you lose a match to a detail like that, it just sticks with you. I know the feeling. Oh, oh my god, oh. that was so unlucky. <laughs> it almost looks like a predetermined shot. <laughs> like, <laughs> you really wanted to hit that uh, barrel, but... Uh, uh, I mean, you, yeah. have to, you have to use a turn to kill the Grenadier. I think he's next. Oh, bit of a top shot. Yeah, and now it's Sapper time. Hopefully Agro okay. remembers uh, the healing hands. Yeah, yeah, he has to. Where is the scout, though? Oh, oh but that Sapper is pretty healthy, though. Don't worry about it. He'll he'll open the menu and remember. Well, maybe he'll not have time. If he knows the shortcut there, he doesn't. Oh, he's, ri he's right there, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Never mind. Oh, wait, wait, scout! Up. He forgot! No. How could you forget? And just uh, as we saw it... Ah, uh, hit. No, not like that. With a trunk or maybe a uh -huh, semi-perfect uh -huh. What are you shot? talking about? Uh -huh, <laughs> this uh -huh. guy's on 18 HP poison, so 15 HP would have skipped right now. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Uh, Concentration? Agra's kind of losing his grip. He's playing Is he? Tekken 3 on background. Oh, no, that's <laughs> bad. Okay, but how much was this guy on? I think it was on 70, so only a shrapnel would make him skip. He, I think he's down to 60-something, 60, 60 so that's very bad for the... Um, yeah, I'm, for I'm the pretty sure I, yeah. I saw him drop from 80-something to 70-something. Wait, before. he's doing it something like like yeah. he knows each other. Oh, okay, never mind, so man. maybe it was the other scout. 
Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Very good job. KB was able to keep track of the health while we didn't. Yes, we can. Proving once again that he's ready for for Hogs of War League, if you ask me. Okay. So is this actually turning around? Like, we have that full HP zapper on KB's side still, and... And look, he can... I don't know, Mr. No, no, no. I would like to see the bar. He can go uh -huh. for the health crate. And, like, stay there. Use a long... Um, uh, long distance bazooka, and then he can go and collect that medicine dart, but he's not doing it. Yeah, or he but, can but still be <laughs> the, uh, the enemy would just lower your health to, to 5, I guess, before you had a chance to do that, wouldn't he? I don't not know. Time. Pick up another crate. Yeah, go for medicine oh. darts. Nice, okay. he's going for it. GG. Yeah, that is a roller grenade, I believe. Yeah. I remember somebody, I think it was Ksuya who <laughs> go for that crate and then was failing to do medic on medic. Ah, uh, yeah, I think there was oh. something like that happening in the group stage, yeah. Right, yeah like, now Ninja has to rely on oh. long range. That's a tough shot, I would rather that's go for a, the heal That's an yourself. insanely tough shot. Easy. But... Not easy. Uh, the plus side of that is that uh, since this guy was on 49, even a 9 would have been good as a, as a damage. Do you like the game is turned around? Like, KB has two sappers now, which... I think it's still open for both players. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree, because the para is kind of loaded. The, the, the yellow para is kind of loaded. Ah, he is, right? There's a bazooka, uh, a rocket launch up that you can only 49. get with the skip. But... Yeah, he's got, I think, poison gas, a couple of, of uh, medicine darts, so that's a huge deal as well. Yeah, and good on Koi. I don't oh, understand why, keeping mind. the distance here. <laughs> yeah, he, I think he just wanted to avoid water damage, but now he's just losing a turn for that. So. Oh, and you know what the problem is for for Agar too? He doesn't have a chance to use those healing hands, and if he stays here, KB will steal them. Yeah, true. Uh, that is true. I don't think he should go for the kill now. Now with body blocking, it's a very good option from. Are you sure? From KB. I would definitely heal the sapper before the Pyra. Even though he is, he's got extra weapons. Well, body blocking can kind of throw you off a lot. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Now he's one v two. So. Yeah, like However, he just needs to stay there and go for the long range shot. And I think so, those hidden darts will seal the game eventually. Yeah. Also, this is not a power. It's this too much a... advantage. Yeah, that's the problem with staying uh, close and using body block. Yeah, even though, like, he can body block himself by using a TNT and kind of... Yeah, I'm and sure Hunger knows both the, 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 the enemies have healing weapons, so he's kind of screwed right now. Imagine KB winning this game with uh, Shrapnel, like Pain, uh, yeah. Agar back Pain, for the Agar group back stage. And uh, ooh, a, 50, a 50, I was afraid for a second there. This is getting very tough, very close. Nah, mm. this medicine darts, it's, um, it's easier. I, I don't I know, mm. I don't know, man, because the fact that you are still... Those. The, the fact that you are 2v1 does make you able to control the enemy turns better. Because, you know, yeah. you, you're still moving the same pig every time, while the enemy does not, does not have nah, this. Nah, two this... jetpacks. It's too ah, much two jetpacks, yeah. Okay, two jetpacks are very tough, and you can play the long game, and he runs out of... Yeah, the only way for well. KB is to nail the shrapnel on paratrooper, so jetpacks are uh, disabled from the game. I think this yeah. is the only way. Yeah, maybe. And also go maybe. for that rocket launcher does eventually. Does he have anything? What does he have in his menu? I just want to see that. I think uh, it's a couple just... TNTs. Yeah. If he has a TNT, he can place the TNT in a way that the para falls next to him. That would be the best move, I think. Yeah, but he's uh, kind of... I know, don't know... Oh my god, he's yeah. the best two TNTs! That was definitely the best move to go with. How, does oh. this, how did this guy survive with full health and two TNTs? Yeah, he was just using Shrapnels. Ooh, that's okay. just enough, enough for the kill. But what is the idea of that positioning? And also you're giving Paratrooper? You're giving him a crate. Oh yeah, you should have gone farther away if you wanted to, you know, stay away from the jetpacks. Yeah, healing hands is not so good, but... Healing hands is yeah. completely useless right now, because on a 1v1 it's just not usable. Yeah, it's Wait, good maybe he can use a barrel? Like, mm. busy guy style jetpack? No? No, okay. I don't see it. Like, if, if Agra keeps his positioning uh, safe Ooh. and clean, okay. there's no way he can... I mean, no way is a strong word. 
Oh, because, you know, there's still a shrapnel. Yeah, no way. Okay, wow. <laughs> nice, okay, nice so... shot, nice shot. Okay, it's, so... the, it's the moment of truth. Only a shrapnel can save this. 110 time. I hate those moments, but let's go. Uh, he's aiming it a bit to the left, which I don't understand why. Maybe, maybe he's trying he's... water? Yeah, maybe he's banking on more water damage. Mm, I think only a Wow, it's good! And would save him, but no, that's not enough. And it's one water damage. <laughs> okay, never mind. Beautiful. <laughs> Worth it. Um... Okay, so... It's 1-1, one, one, everybody. We are going at least to game four. But, uh, I don't know. Late game could have definitely been managed better by uh, KB, but he was still able to almost turn it around with a very uh, bad matchup, so... Yeah, all in all, both players had good turns here, but yeah. um, the first turn advantage and the better lineup just made sure Agra could um, yeah, deal with this way easier. Yeah, so hard to predict what's going on. I think it's so equal, so random. It's all about... Yeah, here and yeah. now, so... Especially, like, in the first part, there were so many options to TNT a pick, to body block somebody else, and you're kind of losing the track of all the options you have at hand, so... Yeah, yeah, it's just many players forgetting about details that we probably picked up, but we... It's not sure we would have if we were playing ourselves. Yep. Okay, so, uh, updating the score, because I always remember when the game is done for some reason. <laughs> Um, and then we're gonna have a small break again, and now, what's next map again? Oh, Railroad, okay. And we're back. We're back with game three. I hear some random noises, but uh, Metalman has now joined us. Hi, Ron. Hello. So, uh, Railroad is, uh, map, is map three. It's uh, another kind of weird new map. I actually don't remember what kind of picks up pickups are there, but there's all kinds of things. Yeah, there are some good ones like mines, and I feel like some airburst and anti-P mines as well. Oh yeah, we'll so see. coming going first for KB is going to be a important advantage. But as we saw before, when you play on thirty seconds, everything can happen because mistakes multiply. Wait, did I do that right? I think I saw a mistake. Never mind. Uh, yeah, metal. Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. Just checking myself. Med Medic Grenadier Parasapper Spy, which means scout. And also KB is going first with the couple. So, good chance to go 2-1 in advance. But, again, uh, we saw upstream, which we kind of gave to Agar before it was even played. But, uh, you know, it was closer than we expected. So, we can expect a closer game here too. And the game is not cooperative as usual. This game's ever cooperative? Oh, sometimes. It is, sometimes. There we All go. Right. And I want to pay a bit attention to the minefield right in front of us. Uh, it's very not marked on the map, so... It's kind of a just a green patch. Yeah. A darker green patch, I mean. And KB took note of, of those mines. Very I mean, good. you would expect them to. Yeah, and oh, yeah, he kind of yeah. wants to avoid that red he badge on the map. The, uh, the oh, yeah. crate on top, I thought you were talking about the minefield. The, uh, yeah. the crate on top of that building, I think, is actually the anti-P mines as well. I think they're both actually in the same building. Ah, I thought it was the anti-P mines dropping in later, Oof. but we'll see. Very close to the gong for that shot there. But MoMA executed perfectly, and not only that, he also grabbed some mines on the way out. Yeah, it's basically a reverse situation of the of the upstream. Um, now it's KB who's sitting on the uh, yeah. yeah on the buzzer basically. Can but if anything, it's a good it's a good thing that KB almost turned the turned it, turned it around on upstream because that gives Agar the knowledge that he can do it too. Yeah, some rifle bursts here and some blocking of the stairs, I guess. No, never mind. Some parkouring by the Grenadier over here. Yeah. Doesn't go for a body block, though. Ooh. Bit of a delay, but still good damage, like about 80. I think it was more the, the weird bounce that messed him up more than the delay. Yeah. yeah. 74 damage on that cluster. Which yeah. is still decent.
Uh, it's one of those maps that we kind of have a hard time reading because it's one of the new maps that we never played, we've never had before this Grunt League. It's, it's again, it's very hard to to read oh, them. 50. 50, yeah. No breaks. Oh yeah, of course. And it triggers strong. some of the mines, which makes the game freak out. Yeah. Always a good so... thing to have those NTP mines on minefields. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can see, like, Agra already um, going back to Shrapnels, like, to get a foot in the door, because he has the disadvantage in terms of first turn and lineup and MoMA. So, not a bad idea per se. So, 50 mm. still landed. I see the spawn, the, the chat spawning some emotes, and I also see Angurio. Hello, Angurio. You miss the the mortar play uh, from KB in game one, but maybe you'll able be able to replicate it. That's a very good bazooka. I'm trying to think that what is a situation where these barrels would be useful, and it, it is just there's hmm. just none. Actually, Mark. if he could pick up the heavy machine gun, which already sadly was picked up, I think he only need to hit three sh three shots from that. True, because the barrel has twenty health, so three eights would be, would be enough. Yeah, and since the range of those are is not great as well, you can just kind of take a middle sort of distance and make the sure three hits. The problem is, if you go for the pig as well, it's so hard to hit him without shoving him away. Yeah. I got some self damage on his eye medic there. Yep. Have we ever have we yeah. seen uh, KB soon to do some self damage at all so far? Um, probably with some TNTs. Like on upstream, it was very clustered, but uh, for now, I can't really remember. And that looks yeah. like a great grouping up situation. I can't think of it in the league. I've seen him do it plenty of times with me in practice. Like. <laughs> oh well, yeah. It's in Grunt League. It's bound to be. Uh, <laughs> Some self damaging here and there, but yeah. it happens to to main league as well. So, and as Nicholas said, that is uh, some very good grouping up because I don't think that that guy mm. that we don't see is next. Yeah, it's a bit out of reach, but well, who's next? We're gonna set another sapper here. It will probably be scout time next. So, mm, that's a tough number to deal with then. A fi a, a thirty health. Yeah, uh, you basically need to be right next to him and. Do a well. Do look a at this one. This has potential to throw the medic out of the map. Yeah, or even a ninety. It's a bit overshot, I feel. A yeah. bit, and that is a problem for Agar because I think he doesn't <laughs> have a way to kill the medic before he takes another turn. He's on fifty-seven right now. Yeah, it's kind of funny that you could see the scouts staring right down at each other there. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know what the crate is on the top. On the yeah, well, the left crate that's left. Going could for the be double a... poison, I would definitely use it that time to make just one jump just in case, but you know, it's not gonna be mm, yeah. possible to do the other four in the other turn anyway, probably. Mm. I don't like this. But side. wait, doesn't the medic have the mind? So you could do like a low damage mine. Oh that's right, that's kind right. Kind of skip him. Good good thinking. Good thinking. Uh, and I, I, feel, I kind of feel for Agar in the mistake there. Um, in the previous turn, he shouldn't have gone for the shrapnel. If he had gone yeah. for a TNT, now the medic would be in range for a kill. Oh, but look at this one. Looks pretty Double poison. Deep. Looks pretty good. The uh. medic will be able to heal one. So he is kind of forced to heal the double or hit the medic. That's yeah, but that was a. It is a skip in the long term, so... Yeah, but this is the crucial turn for KB, because dealing enough damage without killing the medic is kind of kind of hard. So... Oh. Yeah. I, I, don't, think he, I don't think he remembers that he has mines. He will if he, when he opens up the menu. Yep. There that's that's go. That's how it always happens. Yeah. Just nah, not... just go for ah, the kill. That's too much. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, just yeah. go for the kill at that point. You don't have enough time to, to think about it. Just go for it, and he does manage Ooh. to get the trank. That is important. Yeah, just gets the sh straight safe kill on the medic. Exactly. Yeah. Plays it safe. Definitely better to kill him over risking him having a turn. Yeah, it's yeah. also like a very rare skill you see, like 
being uh, like knowing that you're in the lead and playing according to that. Like you could do more. You sure you could try to go for the. Oh I agree. my! Oh. Yeah, actually, right. uh, I remember this trick because KB himself did it against the Dimension in a game I com in the game I commented. So I'm surprised oh. to see that Agar knows it too. Ooh, Let's see. Maybe going for the fragment hit, all fragment hit. The super mine, as I call it. Yeah, yeah it's basically. Just, uh, I was trying to make it uh, like a more serious name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I mean, I think that yep. positioning in the building is pretty dangerous, though. Uh, was, uh, there will be an uh, there will be an airburst later on, I believe. So you yeah. don't want to be in the building when you get hit by that. Was a twenty-five on the on no. the mine there, and uh, if you ask me, that is a perfect cluster for the guy in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Just throw throw the cluster straight into the building. There's no way Dude. he can he can uh, jump away, so he does get all the damage every time every time. Yeah. yeah. KV's not going for it, they're going for... The paratrooper with 115 health, which could be a good hit combined with another turn. Definitely is a good hit. That was a very good hit. Oh, but he was next. So this guy is pretty much going for the, the self-kill, I think. Yeah, there's no water to damage yourself here, so... How much is the medic on? Uh, I believe he was down to 40-something, so... Be careful with he's your damage if you want that skip. Yeah, I would have I just. Think he's now down to about thirty something. I would Wait, have just grouping... fired. Oh, he's grouping up the grenade as well for a future hit. That is a risky move, but considering he's uh, behind, it's a worth idea for me. Will it be the sapper on there next, or is it like a triple group up that's actually Ooh. working? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, that that could work. It is a very risky move again, but uh, if Agar can get a super hit, super good hit, with his next pig, which we don't know who he is, we can't use the, the jetpacks on this guy, he's inside. Yeah. I mean, it's good for hiding, yeah, that's true. Oh, oh. I wouldn't go for a jetpack by now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just go for a safe hit. I always say that my limit for firing a jetpack is 8 seconds. Maybe seven if you're just really if you just really need it. Yeah. So Agra has a big damage potential here. Getting rid of the medic. And hitting ah, but the both problem is you don't actually time. want to damage the medic that much. Yeah. Um, you kind of miss twelve health, so two head jumps and you get the turn skip. Because the thing is, um, wait, no, KB still has hmm. the scout, so you want you want to avoid another grenadier turn, of course, no. See what he, what will happen. Oh yeah, that's right. The scout is next, so they're not gonna move. That's why Ag Agar is waiting. Oh, when he almost killed his own guy that was going to skip, that would have been a very good move. Uh, so what's your plan here? It's pretty complicated at this point. Oh no. Like, okay, okay. I, I thought I messed up the, the turn order. Yeah, the there has first. been a kill already on uh, Agra, so... And there's the Ooh, airburst. Thing. Airburst! That's... Fire it in the guy in the in the building, yeah. please! Please do it, KB! <laughs> I wanna it's see like it. It's like the setup for that, but... Um... Damn it! It will be the scout next, so definitely don't go for him. Since he's skipping anyway. No, why are you doing uh... this? No! Why okay. are you doing this? This is a terrible mistake! Um, sacrificing his own medic, but also sacrificing the scout that was gonna skip, and also dealing a, a lot of damage to his own pigs. That is a huge mistake by KB. Yeah, unless I've got the pig order wrong, I feel like it was the scout next. <laughs> that was a very, very odd turn. Oh, and okay, he doesn't have a scout anymore, so that doesn't risk. And it's Sapper time again, which makes sense since oh, Sapper is second. No. Oh god, Agra could clean up here. Yep. That is a huge chance for Agar to turn it around. Insane. We did not see that coming. Yeah, you don't want to get the kill on that guy now. You want to get equal damage so to avoid future um, body blocking. Yeah, Agar looking to bunch up again by the look of it? Yeah, but... Oh, yo. You mean the guy who's dying and uh, the sapper here? 
Because they would move, so I think the there's only two pigs left in KB's team, anyway. There's Never Scout. mind, yeah. I forgot Scout about this guy. still there, yeah. So that was a good bunching up. Everybody forgets about the Scout. So now it's, I feel like, an open game. Um, both I have, like, like, kind of equal HP. This guy I feel could like skip. Agar is... Okay, I forgot about this thing. This guy, because, yes, yeah. Agar had a very good move in bunching up everyone, but he... Like we said, had to risk this guy skipping, and that is exactly what's going to happen. Which is crucial for KB, because he also gets to move his paratrooper away from his own sapper. Yeah, you can see the health bar did not change that much, uh, in terms of, like, invisible uh, damage or whatever, yeah. like, now, in the next turn. Would you keep a jetpack now, or would you just ditch them all? Just ditch them all now. Oh yeah, that's right, this guy's on 48, so yeah, definitely yeah. ditching them all. Yeah, you can see, um, like, KB's desperately trying to get those um, barrels into play, but... I mean, it could yeah. happen. It could happen. Could happen for, like, the first time. That's a good shot for that, but... And he moves away from nope. it. That range is just... Stupid. No. The, the range I mean, on those barrels it, it makes is sense. terrible. It makes sense that they didn't include it in the final game. Yeah. So this guy was looking pretty healthy just a second ago. He's now on 54 health. Uh, yeah. Is it already a numbers game at this point? Yeah, if KB keeps it clean, like no self damage and all good damage turns on the enemy, he can kind of make it. What's the health of the other yellow pig? This guy's on 54. What's What about the I other one? I believe 80 or something. We'll see. I don't know about the scout. Oh yeah, the scout was on 97. True. So he's now on 47. Uh, yeah, but all, all KB's pigs are kinda low, except for this guy. Ah, uh, it's... Uh... Yeah. Ah, uh, it lo it's looking better for KB, though. It is, although that Sapper has, like, a huge arsenal. He still has an NTP mine, he has some other stuff, I believe. I think he only has an NTP mine. Okay, never mind then. He has an NTP <laughs> mine. <laughs> KB I mean, be looking to throw him out of bounds here. Yeah. Uh, it could be possible. It needs it needs a a good, you know, bounce. Yeah, exactly. And oh. nope. Oh, oh, not quite. This map is not slippery enough. This guy is going to catch his train. So, will we see a super shrap, a uh, super NTP mine here? I think it's kind of the only way that Agar can bring this back into the table. I would have tried on the 75 guy though. Yeah, in that case it's a Okay, he doesn't even go for that. Maybe he has a scout left, so potentially a turn skip here in the future. Probably he's trying to steal the um, airburst that the guy has. Yeah. That's the scout. Oh dead yeah, that's guy. the scout. Never mind. So the scout is dead. That doesn't matter. Uh... Hmm. 23, that's not a lot, but the bar still says, despite the fact that it doesn't count the last turn, the bar still says that KB is in front. Yeah, maybe Agro was even just aiming for a minefield damage it's there. It was pretty close. Ah, that 54 is a bit is a bit of a problem though. Hmm, what is what what's left for uh KB oh, here? Oh, but uh KB has the airburst. The other the, KB's sapper has an airburst. This is a mistake. You should have gone for the 37. Yeah, I think he still has a turn left to kill him. So, and this guy's only four head jumps if you think about it. So yeah, could... but the problem That's is really that guy, the, the paratrooper's on 23, so he's already slow, and the the sapper is also about to be slow. Yeah. Unless Sagar mm. just goes for him. Yeah, he needs to pull off a good shrapnel on that other guy. But. He just takes too much time, I believe. Oh, but that's also a good thing. Th that's a good way to avoid head jumps. It is. It is. So, good move by Agar here. And now... Uh, what's the ranks of the two yellow pigs? Two sappers? Mm, yeah. So like that it's... means that no matter what KB does, Agar still has a chance to bank it on a shrapnel. Yes. That's basically what it comes down to. Yeah. So KB. positioning yourself rather awkwardly would provide 
I think he just wants to get the shot right now. And that is yeah. a bit too low. Oh, oh my god, that oh. was very close to missing. Yeah. L very lucky to get that. So, and this is it, everybody. Another shrapnel Hail Mary, yeah? Yep, um. he, has to, he has to get a 90. It is possible, and Agar, uh, like we said many times right by now, has won a game against BKB like that. Well, let's I don't see. like that he's getting up so far. Maybe he'll hit himself with this as well. Nope, uh, just a 30. Only the 30. It doesn't work this time, and that means that KB can just punch him. Yep, that's how you do it. The disrespectful and, punch. And KB goes ahead 2-1. <sighs> Very tight. Of course. Very tight, but... Uh, I was gonna put a point to the wrong player again. KB is 2-1 uh, now. We are going to go on over the top, which is definitely not the kind of map you would want to face KB on. But uh, Agar has to win it to stay in the game and bank it all on the fifth map. We'll see you in yeah. a bit. We'll see you soon. Okay, we're back. It is now time to go to Over the Top, the new, quote-unquote, improved Over the Top. <laughs> the beta version of uh, what would be Mission 16? I, I kind of lost track by now. Oh, yeah, uh, it's yeah. Mission 16. Correct. So, um, as you can see, Agar is going for a very interesting lineup. Double para and three MFing gunners. <laughs> yeah, basically throwing it all in. I wonder if he was trying to just throw this map out, or he actually has practiced long-range shots over... Oh, and Mr. It. ADB, I know it's your birthday, but how could you forget introducing the champ? I am sorry, I am sorry. I uh. forgot that we are now we now have Iron Fox in the commentary booth for the fourth game. Yep, hello. I'm just here silently sneaking in. <laughs> <laughs> As usually. Uh, so, going right. back to the game, we see KB brought a Grenadier, which is a almost weird choice for Over the Top. Bit of an odd choice. He will make trouble in the uh, enemy trenches, but yeah, we'll see how this one plays out. Akira will go first here, which sadly isn't that big of an advantage, but... Yeah. He got the short end of the stick there. Yeah. And KB is, as we know... Pretty good with mortars, and he has his uh, usual, I mean, expected two gunners in this map. Just very hard to navigate, but I kind of like it. It is, it is. And yeah, let's see what strategy these guys brought to the table here, because you need one. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, was, you're just... That was the most honest description of this map, and I loved it. Yeah, otherwise it's just shooting in the dark and preparing maybe some shots here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good first pick. Uh, pick? Pick, I guess. Um, by going with the power, you can always pick up that motor. I expect at least the first shot to be prepared. Yeah, I have yeah. to say it's pretty hard for me to see because for some reason my Parsec has messed up somehow and I see Host is doing something else, but I do see the game in the background a little bit at least. All right, that is something that's not new, but, <laughs> you know. Okay, uh, maybe we'll, I'll click on the other window on the next turn. Well, we'll get your popcorn, everybody, because over the top is usually a long one. Yeah. Oh, this looks prepared, though. Yep, like I remember you... trying this shot in this shoot, this shot, uh, this shots in the old over the top, too. Uh, I had the game with Machatino there. It's, it was kind of painful. <laughs> but... Good damage. Good damage overall. Let's see if we can resolve that issue. Okay, now I see. Nice. Just a quick switch. I hope Agar didn't feel that. Yeah, I feel the Grenadier is good pick for uh, player 2 on this map. But player 1 has so much difficulties to travel the map that player 1 shouldn't take Grenadier here usually. I mean, a grenade thrown from side to side if the enemy is close is possible from either side, but... You know, for, uh, against a skilled player with mortars like, for example, KB would be, 
kind of it's kind of hard to leave your grenadier open like that. And also, KB brought the scout here, so um, it's like poison game is only on his side. Yeah, it's like KB went for all the strategies combined. Meanwhile, yeah. Agar went full long distance, which, as we stated, he kind of needs to win the, this game, so... Yeah, I think the gunner lineup is, like, overall, if you look at the maps, you should take the gunners here, if somewhere, but it is pretty difficult to fight against KP's lineup with those gunners. Yeah, and even with that hard shot like that, he was able to get a 43 out of that. The problem is, I think what KB's plan was, we just saw it like that. We, we, those who don't have mortars, they pick them up. Oh, can, can you actually go up from there? Um, no, I don't think so. No. You can get close to the slippery big wall, but you cannot get up there. I believe there is one side that can get up on the upper... Oh yeah, there, there is one okay. side that can get up on either side. It's just one is very fast and the other isn't. Yeah. I think it's exactly like the finished version of this map. It's interesting well, to me that this is basically the only map that absolutely 100%, no doubt about it, forces you to play long distance. Yeah, you could develop something else, but... Then you'll have to be really sure about your strategy. Um, yeah. And honestly, having one map like this is fine. We can't just play Grenadiers and Medics every time. Exactly. It I made understand. the first map pretty interesting and made, can make this one interesting. Yeah, I yeah, guess. I was gonna say, I understand the hate for it. But come on, we can't, like, have beautiful maps everywhere it's uh, and, and also because people don't like a map a map that doesn't mean that it's not good i'm just gonna throw yeah. that out yeah definitely so i guess this will be the game for the rest of like the next 20 minutes <laughs> i guess so yes yeah. <laughs> Just string some mortars over the wall and yeah, seeing what and, sticks. Uh, I just see KB doing more damage already. Yeah, KB is hitting his mortars a little bit better so far. Is it so hard to cross in the middle? Well, you don't want to get stuck there. As, uh, most people already know, or some of them already know, that there's a weird swim path there that makes you go all the whole mile. Like... Yeah, Some it's all oh, Michael that Phelps one. Yeah, shit. I, I, uh, yeah. I remember that. I remember seeing. Oh my god! And he's close to what, getting to what that. What do you do if you are Aga right now? Just look at what hit. KB is pulling off. Just, just land your hits. There's nothing else you can do. I mean, he obviously knew that when he was going for this lineup, which is two paras and three gunners. Yeah. There's nothing else you can do but go for long range and hit all these shots. Maybe he was just kind of throwing this map away and distributing his lineup. I think that elsewhere. is a possibility. Yeah. So if KP keeps doing those mortar shots, I think so... he's gonna steal the title from Angurio. Oh, I, it would be very yeah. interesting to see uh, a KB versus Angurio match right now well, this on map, this map. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, this map bridge the gap and then another one <laughs> like that. Just all gunners. But yeah, we saw... Um, we saw Agar missing the chance to hit there. And uh, I don't want to be negative Nelly here, but it looks like it's going downhill very fast for Agar. Oh, those shots are just... Oof. It's and freaking 16. scary. 58 damage again from KB. Yeah, maybe Agra was not banking on KB hitting his shots this well. I mean, we've not seen him perform uh, bad with them, but we have not seen him perform this good as well with them, I believe. Anyways. I don't remember if uh, in the game with Mephisto he played uh, many gunners, but uh, yeah, he's, he's kind of consistent with it. But again, yes, you're right. We never saw him hit so consistently. I don't believe there was a, like, a showcase of, like, this magnitude with him. 
hitting almost every shot of his. And yeah, end. we see Agar really struggling with it. Yeah, in that case, Agra should have probably gone with some more poison strats here. Like, those can throw you off. Uh, and again, this just like you said in the game with Mephisto, the scary thing is that he is not saving pigs for the better maps. He's just distributing them and still kicking ass. Yeah, and if you... I mean, now we can look at the, uh, the, the, the lineup of the last map, which is P-Drag. There is... Barely any difference in their lineup. It's just one sapper is replaced by a scout, so they kind of equalize. Like they, the the way they put their picks up is kind of equal in terms of the first four maps. So yeah, and you know, K and P drag is always kind of a chess battle, especially yeah. on thirty seconds. But uh, yeah, let, that's a that's a good thing to remind people actually. Uh, like Revan says in the chat, that uh, KB is not his, and it is at his first tournament. He played, actually, he played rank up as well last year. Uh, he played one match, but he played Grunt League in 2022 as well. He ended up in the what we would now consider the group of death because he had Revan and Pekis in it, which were able to eliminate him in the groups, and he's now fighting for the win. Meanwhile, yeah, Agar... he's definitely he's definitely player worthy of being in the main league. That's that shows the kind of growth that uh, being around, uh, watch just watching, just watching uh, high level games can can it does make a huge difference. And there's no doubt about the fact that people like players like Agar and Mephisto, for example. Uh, they are already insane for their first tournament, and they will definitely improve to a level where they can compete as well. And that's not to say that other uh, others that I did not mention... Uh, oh, oh my god. Okay, that, that was, was from Agar, okay. <laughs> yeah. So that, a good redemption hit from Agar. So yeah, just to, just to finish the, the sentence... Uh, even people like uh, Metal Man and, and, and Zuyo and, and, and 50 Math and, and others, like the Crypto as well, were able to in, impress me in the way that they improved their gameplay in such a short time. And some of them were at their first tournament as well. KB is good watcher, always commenting almost, um, almost under every video. That's a good... Yeah, that's a good... Uh, Good thing too. Oh, still a hit, but he does seem to lose a bit of his edge right now. Like you can see, the health bar is pretty equal now. Yeah, it's not over. Definitely not so... over. Oh, it's an air bar. Where did that air burst come from? Oh, we. Uh, yeah, it drops on later. Okay. <laughs> In every corner of the map, I believe. I did see yes, Agar really. accidentally hitting a dummy before, which I didn't notice where the jetpack was dropped. It's right behind him, <laughs> but he has chose not to pick it up yet some reason weird maybe he doesn't oh. know what it is oh no <laughs> worst possible time for the blimp to pass no yeah, the blimp kind of drafting in and he just avoids using that mortar saving I it would, possibly i would have shot that because if it drops the crate it is very difficult to get it from kb's side that yeah, is true but the para would have been next though well, so. yeah exactly the para is moving right now would have just been all over it i would have still risked it uh. <laughs> Actually, in a split-second decision, you could have just switched for a bazooka if you wanted to save the mortar. See? Okay, okay. Maybe there's a chance for Agar. We Maybe we spoke too soon, everybody. Yeah, like, also, all of these pigs are running out of their mortars now. We're, we're getting <laughs> close to the bazooka-only section, which is even less damage. Yeah. <laughs> just a rev on uh, talking about I... I Arrived to Agar apartment and currently beating him with bamboo stick. Don't worry, I will get him in shape. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, that works. Just no picking oh, up. Oh no, not the blimp work. again. <laughs> oh my god, it's a curse. But this looks good though. Ooh. Uh, it looks, looked better, honestly. Yeah. Still damage is damage here. Yeah, yeah, all damage is damage, especially on this map. The Grenadier of... Um, KB's... 
team is kind of down. Actually, if he can leave that Grenadier to just do nothing, it could be a, a point for Agar. Yeah, but uh, I still think that Grenadier can get close enough. If he backs away a little bit just behind him, is the road up there, up on that hill, so he could just throw grenades from there. Yeah, but he's on low health. He's yeah, he also he has, but he also has mortars. Oh my god. Very nice. And then grouping up as well, right? Two guys just very close to each other on Agra's side. The challenge for Agra is just that now you need to change position every turn. Like, you need to move around as much as you can. It's the only way you can try to confuse KB. And I, I'm actually surprised KB is not doing it. Would make um, would make shots even harder for uh, someone who is not as eager to use mortars as Agar. But instead, look at that! Ooh, but he doesn't bounce down. Could have been more, yeah. Unlucky, but a full 50 indeed. Yeah, <laughs> okay, really. he's unconscious, what to do? <laughs> I just love the idea of, of Reva just physically going to hack. So yeah, that's a definite opportunity for a double hit. Yep. I guess he would still need to leave this guy al alive. Because yes, he has picked up mortars, but uh, it it's the only guy that oh when, he, when he finishes mortars, he will be less dangerous. And I talked over this amazing hit, which finishes one gunner and... I think a delta 40 or something to the other. Yeah, drop the jetpack, I believe. It's also like weird that the... Um, I don't know, with the last ditch effort, you could use the Paris to just drop in and deal a ton of damage with their jetpacks, but you don't have that much time, so... Yeah. You would kind of need to set that up beforehand. Although, look at the numbers on that side. A jetpack, uh, a jetpack rampage would definitely be a good idea. Yeah, you could get rid of the Grenadier. That and, is still uh, good damage, because I think that guy is now dropped down to lo lower 18. than 50. Yeah, he's still to 18 or something. So Let's at, check. At the very least, Agar is doing quick work on this side of KB's team, and I think this side is completely untouched. Which is two pigs, but still. Yeah, it's two pigs that are completely full health. We're definitely playing the long game here. Stay tuned, everyone. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's not that bad. No, they're actually hitting, so... Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a thing. Oh, oh my god. wow. That is, also, that is also dead, I think. Oh, no, no, it was the full health guy. No, no, they're good. I don't know what that is. That's how much we don't know this map, but... I think one of the crates dropped close enough so that, um... KB's pick be hit. Yeah, maybe it's a, I don't know, suicide <laughs> to end it. <laughs> Qu quick shout out to Raid Shadow Pig. <laughs> All right. That, that one made me <laughs> chuckle. No, no, Mr. Rango, I enjoyed this very much. Oh, 27 hits at a time. He's going to drop him down to 17 and Sanglier. Hmm. Yeah, KB uh, had a little bit of uh, lowering his guard with the mortars, but now he's back to hitting them like crazy. Yeah, he's picked up the damage as well. Like, he managed to double hit, he managed like almost full, basically full damage potential hit close to the wall. Now, Although, on right to his now, next one. Everyone on this side is very low. But that is also kind of true for. For Agar, and especially if this is another hit that looks a bit short this time. Also, keep in mind, I think Agar has not once attempted to hit that scout because he's not showing up on the map. So that's also a big plus oh, for Oh, um, yeah. Scout. Yeah. And in late game, if he is left for last, which is definitely looking like uh, what's gonna happen, it's gonna be a huge problem for, for Agar. Oh, that's too short, I believe. No, that seems good. That's Does a it? bit short. Okay. <laughs> oh, but it's hard to tell on this map. Yeah, it's very hard to tell. And uh, I was just talking about the fact that... Even if you kill everybody else, and the scout is only left al uh, alone, 
he can very easily just invade you and you don't do anything about it. Yeah, at some point you can just go for it, especially since this Sparrow is full health and probably could make use of all his jetpacks. You can just hide every turn and then tank 20-20 cool. every turn, just as... Yeah, it's when insane. you can see the health bar advantage, and it's this is without the 37 damage the other gunner took right now, so... Yeah, it's, it's looking closer and closer to KB taking the crown right now, but let's not call it yet. Yeah, also a good idea, like, with that scout, even if you're, like, low, if, if more pigs on your side have died, he's the perfect one to go for body blocks and dealing, say, 40 damage. Oh, look, uh, a good hit, 48, by um, Agar. Yeah, he's striking back, definitely. I would look at getting a couple kills on this side, to be honest. Because um, if you manage to only leave the, the guys on the left side alive for, for KB's team, it does mean that eventually he'll run out of more ties. He does get a yeah. lucky 20 here. It seems like both of these guys are just completely focusing on the, uh, the distance of shots. and it's a, it's a state of mind I've never found myself in. Just not, not thinking about any, anything else, just measuring distances. Yeah. And since you're down to like four or five picks, you always need to pay attention. Like you always need to remember four turns later. Actually seven turns later. If you because the other guy has a turn as well, so he does hit at eighteen. I think he was looking for the scout on that one. Could be. Oh, he still has three more turns. Now yeah. I think he did aim for the uh, peak visible in the map, but since last shot was too short, now this one was too long. Hmm. Could be. But again, in terms of strategy, I think KB is just going to get him sooner or later. So. Yeah, he's also focusing the health of picks, which makes sense because you want to deal as much damage as you can. And... Also, although I just thought of that, uh, spreading the damage equally would mean that it makes it uh, harder for the enemy to shoot because you're getting a different pig every time which means different distance every time exactly exactly i think that seems to be the goal as well for agar at least that is a bit too long i think yeah that might get uh 20 something yeah 25 yeah decent uh decent moment to detonate considering the hit yeah, but basically, just, KB needs just needs to make sure this this scout, scout is well stays hidden. Stays healthy, yeah. And it's over, because you can also like look at pigs who have potential for skipping turns in the future. Yeah. So far, there's none, but uh, maybe two shots later we will find some. I think um, Agar has dealt enough damage to the others. He now needs to focus on the scout. Oh, oh my god. My god. That was a brutal Just shot, yeah. In, oh, wasn't insane. he on 49? Uh, ne never mind, he's, he's dead. Uh, it's just... Just insane, that little crevice, and he put the mortar right there. Mm. He's changing his position right now. Yes, yeah, staying there. Oh, what is that? Hello, yeah, under the map. <laughs> That's a lot of invisible walls. You can see right through them. Yeah, and you can see like your puppet there. Kind of hiding. Is that good? No, nope, it's a nope, little short. It is too short. Yeah. What? Extra pellet maybe? Nope. Uh, never mind. All right. Uh, Mr. Ango. It's going to be uh, uh, <laughs> tw 25. <laughs> Let's see. It could be good for a, with a bazooka. Could I'm be gonna say 30. 30 for Fox? Chat? What, what, what do you say? I say oh my, nothing. <laughs> no, that was a bit too late for me to say, but still. <laughs> I would start thinking about going Rampage with this guy. Just Yeah, for cleanup? 
it has definite potential here. You could, but if you look at the numbers, you could technically do one jetpack, one jetpack to get there, one jetpack on the Renadier, one on the Gunner, and then Bazooka on the other. But I assume it's not probably possible with 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, he also kind of needs to focus on the. Ooh. Oh, that's a very good shot. Yep. That's a kill, right? That's a kill. Yeah, that, that was the guy on 30. Yeah. So first kill for Agar. And he needs to make sure this parry gets killed at some point before crossing that river. Because those jetpack will drop him dead instantly. Yeah, but time is ticking out because I'm assuming that um, KB will look to cross over himself at one point. Yeah. That I think the. Uh, big yeah, a bit short. I think the scout has still one mortar and one airburst left. After that, it's go time, I feel like. Yeah. You could even hide on the way to just not get so much damage. In. Yeah, I think Agar is pretty tired by now, but the, the only way he can win this is if he starts targeting the scout ASAP. The scout. I don't know why I said See? scout. Ah, too just much. right in the middle there. Grenadier is just chilling right, right down here. Could be killed at any moment, but Agar has other yeah, this, priorities. This Grenadier should start moving closer and shoot mortars on the way, so then when he runs out of mortars, he would be close. Are you sure? That, that would make the shot easier for, for Agar, though, because he's only on 8 health. Well, yeah, but it's only one guy on 8 health. It doesn't matter that much. Also, if you if get closer, gonna... there's still a parachuper with four jetpacks here. Well, yeah, but if he runs out of those mortars, that Grenadier is gonna be just skip turns. Hmm. I think Agar is just is banking on leaving the scout alone right now. Yeah, which is... Uh, kind of a bad enough. idea. Okay, there's the next enough. kill. Well, it would be a good idea if KB makes a mistake in handling the scout. Oh, he's thinking. Is he moving in? He's kind of out of, uh, of weapons right now. Yeah, well, he has one more shot to go. Let's see how this one will pan out. So KB's team is right now consists of the scout on full health, the paratrooper on 39, and the other gunner on the other side, which is below 20, I think. Yeah. But, uh, the best I target would be the uh, 44 HP tick. If you could just target the airburst explosion right for a safe 20, he could that go for a poison skip in the future. Me. But that looks... it's a kill. It's Dubai. a kill. A 50 hit, and that means two pigs left. Yeah, I feel that decided the game. Yeah, the scout is just on way too much HP right now. It's nothing... nothing that can be done at this point. I think you're assuming, though, that uh, crossing over with the scout is that easy. I mean, yes, you can... Even um, if you need, like, two turns... You can just um, hide. Th that is yeah. true. Oh. Nice. Also, the scout, scout could go on that road where that gunner is. If he uses that road, he doesn't have to go next to the water. And water is the only place that can instantly kill the scout. Yeah, but right now, just hop on over with the jetpack, finish him off close. And it's GG. Yeah, I guess so. But because... Think about it. Even if the scout moved closer, you 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 said it yourself. There's that one mo There's that one spot where the water is just insane. And even if he hides, technically the jetpacks would give Agar a chance. Yeah, I feel like Agar kind of set his priorities wrong here, and the picks he chose to focus. That's short. Mm. Yeah. Yep. And if Agar. I don't know, if Agar kills the paratrooper, I don't know. Well... I, like, I see your point, I see your point. It's definitely still advantage KB, but moving to the other side is not as easy as we are uh, making it look. KB could definitely have a mistake. It is not easy, and remember that long swim you could take. Um, yeah. Let's see, this looks, looks very good. good. Oh, he's on oh, three it's one health. off, right? Three. Oh, three off, yeah. He needed a 40, he got a 36. Actually, he needed a 39, but still. 
Or the resorts to grenade launchers. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, it, it's one of those situations where you're in that much health uh, compared to your opponent. Why would you cross? You're only risking mistakes. Yeah, this is my more bazooka. Yeah, this is bazooka, right? Correct. Five bazookas, which is definitely good for him. Oh, that's the turn gone. That's the turn gone. And uh, Ninja... Ninja could go up there! Hmm... Ah... Uh, I feel like that would have been a good idea. It, it could be, but I... F I, I, get, I think uh, Agra needs to bank on a big mistake from KB here, like... Dropping, like, getting close in with the scout and being the, the power of being next so he could drop all his parachutes on him. Something like that, maybe. A big mistake... Oh, he's going for default angle. Yeah, which and looks... that looks good to me. Yeah, good enough. Nice. Okay, so it's 1v2 right now. KB has a huge health advantage, but... Uh, mentally, it is hard to make a decision whether to cross or not. And he will definitely don't won't he won't definitely cross until he uh, since he has his bazookas. Or maybe if he runs out of them. Okay, yeah. Well then, yeah, that, make your shots seems, count. Like... Gotta make the shots count. At that position, it, say... it is also possible to fall into the water with a perfect bazooka. Well, yeah, but that's not the bad part of the water. Oh, oh okay. The Nothing plane. dropped though. Yep, not in, nothing dropped, and that is the best news about that for KB. Uh, so I hope, I hope Agar paid attention to the map, otherwise this will be a complete blind shot. Yeah, you don't throw that on default angle, don't you dare do that, because that would yeah. smash right into your face. Dim seems to be out of the way. Could work, I guess, I don't know. I haven't paid attention to the angle, I they should have. I don't know where the <laughs> scout is. Oh, oh, that looks good. Oh. That looks good. Okay. Okay, that's a decent hit. 36. Uh, 36 damage. And now, think about it. This is a terrible moment for KB. Yeah, and he still chooses to stay here. I feel like that's a mistake. I really feel like that. I told you that the, that the mental part of this game was uh, not completely over. Although... If KB can still hit the shots, which he doesn't... Oh, I would just... Just go for it. We have four jets. Just... Try. Yeah, but you're kinda out of time. If you do that, you're just... Going for a safe bazooka shot and nothing else. I think you would, I think you would have time to, for one jetpack and then a bazooka. Yeah, but maybe keep that to the ending. <laughs> maybe if you can even get him down to 30-something. Yeah, but if, if this guy dies, you don't get the chance to deal that. Quote yeah. Safe 60. Oh, not too short. I mean, yes, uh, like Revan says, it, it, is, it is easy for us to talk about what we would do. It's just, uh, it, you find yourself in that situation, and we will probably find ourselves in that situation, because we're definitely going to play that map. Okay, that's kill. Yeah, and that uh, is a huge... Turn around for K uh, towards KB for me, because yeah. that paratrooper was <sighs> that paratrooper was a huge possibility for Agar to deal the damage he needed to claw back into it. Direction looks better with this, see, but the range is just not, and you kind of want to keep that cover. It's tough, like you don't want to hit yourself as well, right? It makes sense because this guy has limited uh, bazookas. Once he runs out of them, it will be harder for, for him to hit. Yeah, and he needs two hits at least for him to kill yeah, him. 45 is a, 44 is a good number for this situation. How much is the scout on? He's and that's a hit. 36 that's a bazooka. good hit. Yeah, 24. 20 hit for the gunner. 20 health is the only thing that keeps KB from winning. But uh, long range health is never easy to take down, so it's not over yet. Yeah, he changes his position, which is good because you yeah. don't want to get it 
the same way twice, which you is... You need to do it. It makes it the shot harder for you, but you don't want to make it easier for the enemy. So, starting from uh, this moment, every shot is a match point for Heibi, although that's a good hit by Agar. Yeah. Is he trying to conceal his health? Nah, that okay. wouldn't be that 78, you almost managed. A 78, we saw that. I think he is trying to conceal his health. Yeah, but what would that achieve? I don't know. <laughs> okay, never mind. So, let's see. Is it the golden shot? Looks no. good. No. And I think that was the last bazooka. He is out of bazookas, yes. So this hit could prove very fatal. Yeah. But the problem for Augur is that he needs two almost perfect hits. Yeah. And even then, still, there's still a good way to do this easy by just crossing and hiding on the way. I don't know just... if we. I don't know if it's a good idea with 78 health. Well, it's a, even worse on here with 38 health. So. I guess so, but. Oh, yeah, this but... looks good. Uh, there is still it's option. Slightly decent. Gout. 14. It's something. It's definitely something. What's happening? Gout. Oh my god! Gout. Can you imagine? Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> he could move closer without going next to the water from that ridge, so. It's not like the scout has to take the reach. He could go to the reach. It will take one turn more to go that way, but he can just shoot grenade launchers while he walks, and yeah. then he avoids. Going. No, I would definitely not go to the other side without hiding. And the problem is that ravine down there is, is extremely slippery. It's super hard to cross over in one turn. I think I feel like if you crossed over, you would definitely be stuck there. Oh my For god. Oh, okay. That was so close. We saw the explosion from this camera angle. Why, why did? How did that not hit? Yeah. Yeah, but and that's why he shouldn't take the ravine. Like, if he takes from his side, like, oh, back left okay. corner, there is reach up. That, so, like, it comes directly behind this peak. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I didn't understand what you were talking about. I, you were talking about the other way to get up. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is changing position, It Agar isn't, because it's making mm. it harder. Yeah, we should have really paid attention here. Yeah, this would oh my God. pretty I can't easy to kill. I can just can't imagine how nerve-wracking it is to play this game right now. Yeah. And I don't... Nah, I, I would not resort to this grenade launcher. It's, you it's know, too late at this point. I feel it... <sighs> oh my God. Yeah, the weapon is just too awful. He should move closer as soon as possible. I don't know, I feel I feel like KB is confident with his long-range shots, and the guy is on 20, so he just needs one hit. I understand. Yeah, that's true. Imagine if he doesn't get it. Imagine if he loses because of that grenade launcher, and then if he loses on p track that basically cost him the Grand League Championship. Yeah, but that's that not point. something he should be thinking about right now. It's something he would worry about later. At least that that would be the right mentality. Oh, is he? Okay, he's not actually moving a, po oh. a poison hit would oh, oh, oh. seal it. If he yeah, moved, if well, he moved right. to the other side of his ravine and hid, I mean, then Agar would just run away, I guess, run out of the grenade range. But let's see. This looks a bit uh -huh. better. Nope. Okay. Can it roll Maybe around? It looks like it's rolling around. No! Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Let's see. I think he should move now. I don't know. I feel like this is a very good position for him now. He has evaded like three or four turns in a row. Any damage at all. Yeah, and he's playing with fire, but he needs to keep doing it. Yeah, this could also be kill if he gets a very lucky water extra damage. No, that's too far. Yeah, way that's too way too far. far. Way too far. Yeah. I think you have enough time to run to the other side and throw a poison right now. I think yeah, you Yeah, definitely. The problem is we saw the grenade roll in a weird way. I don't think the poison would roll to his side as well. That, look, look at this. He needs to hit oh, it. Oh god. <laughs> this is hard to watch. 
Okay, please. Adjust your angle accordingly. You you just did a shot from this right angle. That's still too much if he goes full power. I don't know, looks very good to me. Oh, never oh. mind then. Okay, oh, oh, and now oh, you're on. in danger. Hold on, hold on. Okay. okay, quick swim. Down to 28. 28. Run. You need to try it. Do the hide technique and you'll win. Actually, he could go for a self kill to at least get a draw here. Yeah, but how? If he's hidden. Well, if he's hidden and he hits him with a bazooka, he could. Yeah, I was wondering why you were so quiet. <laughs> like, that was the game ending shot. Okay. I know. I, uh, yeah, I, I realized what happened when the stream started acting wonky. I did have it running on my main screen, and like, I was watching the game from my right screen, so. Yeah, I have it on my phone, so. Saw so that, like, aiming up stuff. Okay, so, uh, we are currently back live. Uh, can someone uh -huh. share? Can someone share the the link somewhere? The link of what? <laughs> of the new stream. Uh. I'll it. Oh wait, I didn't change it to, to public. He. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look at this. The, the the moment we are at. Okay, hold, hold, uh, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna save this at the last moment. Also, we should wait for people to like join and see it before yeah, we yeah, start yeah, yeah. going. It's it might might take a while for for people to come back. Okay, get shareable link. Oh. Thought I'd hop in and see what's going on. Yeah, is uh, Agra still there? He's still there. The waiting. Yeah. I'm just gonna call on him so you can hear what we're talking about as well. Yeah, sure. I'm never playing this game ever again in my life. <laughs> Okay, I I just want you to know that <laughs> that that phrase was kept on the caught by the stream. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, David, can you other this box so we can at least see what we're saying we're talking about while we're talking about it? Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, what? Right here. Just uh, ask, ask Agar if he wants to come in the chat right now, even though he can't speak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, can you focus the window, Nicholas? But what did I leave? I wanted to ask you something. But but he can. He doesn't have the uh, rights, right, to this commentary book. He can. Oh, yeah. Just join any channel, and we can drag him here. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm, uh... Okay. Did it Let's really it end back. on the very last shot? It froze as you was shooting it. That's literally insane. <laughs> I cannot believe it. So is it a cliffhanger then? Do people not know? Yeah, well, well, you you just kind of spoiled it. <laughs> Wait, am I on stream right now? Can everyone hear me? Hold on, mm. let me lower your volume because you're kind of insane right now. Oh god! Sorry, I don't, I literally don't know what's going on. Okay, so uh, I see people uh, freak freaking out in chat. Can you please focus <laughs> the window, uh, Nicholas, to show that it was indeed an exact twenty to finish yeah. it for KB? Hello. Oh my it's God. a 20. I rewind it like frame by frame, and this was the shot I got. I yeah. don't want to rewind any further. Well, and... yeah, but we are seeing host is doing something else on the stream. I am focused in on Parsec. Wait, so... uh, on Duck Station. Wait a second. I wish like I would. This? I wish I could see. Like, was it an early detonation, a late detonation, or something like that? It's just insane that it was a, a, an exact 20. Yes, we can, can rewind, can you... Mike. But can you see it now? Yes, we can see it. Yeah. Uh, okay. in, in rewinding it, we would also lose the moment of detonation. So this is the farthest back we can go. And, uh, yeah. wow. So I guess I, mean, I can we... update this. 
and just make it three one. Yeah, we could rewind like for just for fun these few frames. Um KB, you are poor too, right? Uh I think yeah. so. I don't know what <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but I guess uh, congratulations, KB. You're the, you're the new Grand League champion. Thank you, ADB. <laughs> Still what better production than... Game to finish it, though. I just can't believe how ridiculous that was. Yeah. I literally can't get over it. That was just so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we might need to talk about this map a little bit. Because, yes, it is good, in my opinion, that we have long-range battle. But, you know, when it drags out a little bit, it's not fun. Yeah, that was just too much. But, you know, I really want to have... Uh... A map like this but anyway it's not the time for this kind of talk um, KB took round four we are not going to be dragged because he won 3-1 congratulations to to him and we still haven't brought Agar in here but it's okay yeah he we... said he was listening to stream so oh, okay. he's, he yeah, can't he's... speak right now due to the time yeah off date so um I, I kind of don't know what to say because I wasn't expecting it to end like that but uh KB, you are now, uh, you have earned the right to at least have a chance, we don't know how yet, but uh, to join Hogs War League. You see, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to play this stupid game ever again in my life, but I like the offers on the table in case I want to. I think you're going to change your mind in about three to four months. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to be playing it for a while either way, um, but yeah, oh man. So I don't even know what to say that's going to be clever or interesting or anything, because I just did not expect it to get that tense or drag on that long. That's just ridiculous. That was absurd, and... I don't know. It's just, um... There were insane players along the way. This was definitely the best Grunt League we ever, we ever had. I mean, it's not like the others were, were bad. It's just, it were they were very one-sided. Jay Warren and, and Revan were able to win it, win them very easily. But this year was insane. This year, was yeah, we were insane. spoiled. This year, it was a lot of high-level stuff, a really good mix of players, and I have to say, Agar is the best opponent I've ever had. We're really evenly matched. I think it's just a real privilege to play against a guy like that. Because, good lord, it was just the whole way through. Any fuck up could have swung it either way. So it was just super tense the whole way through. Just absolutely incredible. Couldn't have hoped for a better final apart from over the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, that kind of crash ruined it, but we're 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 out. We're now on a separate stream showing the ending. So, by the way, uh, Agra wants to join in. So, can yeah. somebody turn? Okay, we can join him He's here. He's in general VC now. Yep, there he is. Okay, that we are de definitely. Oh my god, <laughs> we are definitely oh. not not fitting in the thing now. Ah, so I'm I'm just gonna take out the the score thing. <laughs> and the panel as well because it's only making a mistake right now it's only a mistake right now anyway um so uh kb has joined the has earned the right to play in hogs war league either that either directly or through some kind of playoffs thingy that we haven't established yet because we kind of oh my god look at that <laughs> Okay. There we go. <laughs> That's, a long That's kind of a do. replication of what happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of exactly what happened. Everyone? Is there everyone? Hey, Edgar. Yeah, it's hey, me. Nice. I went. I went to the toilet. Nobody <laughs> 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 could, could, could hear my tear. <laughs> In true Machetino style. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah like that. Okay. So we're just gonna call it a, uh, a night. And uh, thank God. Okay, so quick recap of what's going to happen from now on. We are going to have uh, another Grunt League in the summer, probably starting around June. Um, we don't know how it's going to be uh, organized yet. We are probably going to give another chance to people like uh, K. Agar, um, Mephisto, Metal Man, the people that w did well in this Grunt League, as well as some other players that kept themselves out of this one for the summer one. Um, what's the other thing I wanted to say? Oh, yeah. Um, the channel will not stay completely silent until then, though. We will try to organize some um, exhibition matches between uh, high-level players and also not 
mm, also grunts, you, you know, we're going to mix it up a little bit. I think one of them is already in the works. It's yes, be... one of them was recorded, a best of five between Mr. Fox and Mr. Uh, Mr. Ewe, the champs of 2022. Yep. Uh, the, yeah. the, the revenge after the, you know, the canyon incident. <laughs> the canyon incident yeah. after the, <laughs> the lake incident. Yeah. There were a lot of incidents. And, you know, congratulations to KB. Uh, good job to everyone who participated, who hosted, commentated, and everything. We're just going to end it on a high note with uh, some uh, fancy outro. Say, say <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching.